Hey folks, I'm Mike Buxton, Waterfowl Programs Manager here at Delta Waterfowl. You've probably noticed over the last couple of years that we've been engaging in a project up in southwest Manitoba where we're actually putting GPS collars on raccoons and following, through, following them throughout the waterfowl nesting season. In 2018 and 2019, Delta put a total of 27 collars on raccoons and we got a lot of really great information about how raccoons interact with the landscape how they move through different habitat types and how they use different habitat types for foraging, travel corridors, and resting. So now in 2021, we're back on the landscape and we're really excited to continue this research project by deploying another 13 collars. And in 2021, our goal is to put on call these collars on as many female raccoons as possible because we already know a lot of that, a lot of information about how male raccoons interact with the landscape. But female raccoons are different. They have a, a generally a much smaller home range, and they they when you have a much smaller home range, then those landscape features that are within the, the home range are used much, much more intensively. And so what that can translate into is higher depredation rates for duck nests. And so that's why we're, we're continuing this project so that we can have a much broader knowledge of the raccoon as a nest predator and, uh, and be able to tell what areas they're really spending a lot of time in and how we can be more effective with our trapping program. Currently, we have our, our researchers out in the field deploying these collars, and so we're already getting a lot of really great information. And as the season progresses, we'll be providing updates on both our email and social media platforms for all you guys to see.